I'm gonna keep him on the sideways now, just like we did before. Um, could be with my underhook or could be without the underhook. Either way, I reach over and I connect my hands. Every time I connect my hands, I need to open up from me to connect my hands. But if I get to a point that I open up to connect my hands, to my hand meet the other hand on the other side, his hand goes inside, I just have to do the same thing that we mentioned before. Just keep your neck tight. I'm on my side. The outside leg goes in. I'm exaggerating, guys, but that's just enough what I'm doing. I'm just like putting my, my leg over his arm to drop his hand down. Elbow goes over. So any moment, just like we did from the bottom, any moment someone like a, any moment, any moment someone put their hand inside, your leg goes over there. But you cannot forget because that could be the same move when you're on top of him. So if I'm on top of him, even from this position, I reach over, and I drop. When I connect my hands, his hand goes on the way. I put all the weight on top of his head. Leg goes over, clean up, clean up his hand off of my hand, elbow goes up. And then I'll drop my weight on top. I'll flatten my weight on top of me so I can get it tight. Just remember, every time your hand goes in the way, you can just come with the outside leg and drop his elbow down. You put the hand, you just peel, peel his hand off of your hand. So he has no like a resistance against your choke. And you can just have like a clear position to get it back. 